Hello everyone, welcome back to On The Fly. Today we're recapping semi-final action from the World Hockey Championship happening in Czechia. So we'll hop right into today, starting with the scores from today's games. First one here between Czechia and Sweden. Now this was a 7-3 victory for Czechia, but at the same time, this was a really, really good game. And it really could have went either way, but we saw it time and time again. Czechia plays really well especially when they stick to their structure that structure is if you're going to make a mistake it's going to end up in the back of the net with the additions of both Zaka and Pasternak that system has worked really well not so much with those two players putting the puck in the back of the net although sometimes it happens but just the confidence that these that these players play with with this entire team they've shown it throughout this entire tournament especially feeding off home ice as soon as they can get a little momentum it's all over so we'll see it as sort of watch for that as we move our way into the gold medal game to see if the Czechs can really take momentum early, especially against a tough team like Switzerland, who's always good at starting fast. We'll see if they can continue that success. As well as for Sweden, they will play in the bronze medal game against Canada. We'll get to that in just a second. But for Sweden, you know, they had their looks early. They went up 1-0. They went up 2-1. Just couldn't quite figure out how to beat Lucas Dostal. He's a guy that's been really, really solid. Anaheim Ducks goalie who's seen a little bit of time this year in the NHL. We'll see if he gets a little bit more next year. But he's a guy that's looked really good at this tournament. We'll see if he can continue that success into the gold medal game. Obviously, he's a big part to this team. We think back to who they beat. They beat the U.S. in the quarters. That was a huge win with Dostal being an excellent part of that team. So we'll see if they can continue that success as we move into the second game of today. Canada losing 3-2 to two in a shootout to Switzerland. And this was one of those games where, you know, Canada looked flat, 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 right off the top. We've seen it. It's been a problem a couple times so far in this tournament. Canada starts real rough, and finally they pick their legs up as they go. We've seen the complete opposite. It's just the problem of consistency for Canada. This was a prime example of that. Switzerland goes up 2-0 real early. Two bad power pe penalties taken leads to two power play goals. Then, you know, this Canada starts to show up. They start chipping away. You got a, you got a couple, you got a goal in about the second period. See if that's going to lead to momentum. Sure enough, it did. And from there on out, Canada looked like they were going to be able to come back and win this game. John Tavares scores with three minutes left. What happens? Canada's got life. You can see it throughout the rest of that period especially as they move into overtime, that Canada has a shot in this one. Unfortunately for Canada, there's this thing in the double IHF called a shootout. And it's in the playoffs for whatever reason. And it seems to always cost Canada at all these events because you don't have a guy like Johnny Taze to go all 10, 15 rounds anymore. So for Canada, they will be eliminated and be sent to the bronze medal game. Not quite eliminated yet, but I think we can all agree that the gold medal game isn't, the bronze medal game isn't quite as important as the gold. So that being said, Switzerland played exactly as they had to today. And when we look at a team like Switzerland, what they have to do is just hang in there. You score a couple goals early, and then you got to lock it down. Key shot blocks, goaltender played amazing. What more could you really ask for for a team like Switzerland? Knocking off a tough contender like Canada. Switzerland has momentum, and I don't want to rule them out for this gold medal game because, let's be honest here, we ruled them out yesterday. I got flamed in the comments. You know, everyone was saying, go oh, keep an eye out for Switzerland, keep an eye out for Switzerland. And I said, you know what? Just on paper, just the way they've played at this tournament, I don't think they have a shot. Sure enough, a hot goaltender can win you a game. This was exactly the case in this one. The news from today for Sweden was, was, was mistakes. We saw it time and time again. Every mistake just seemed to end up in the back of the Swedish goal. For the Czechs, Jan Ruda is suspended for this upcoming gold medal game for an elbow. Tough, tough loss. You know, that's a big D-line uh, addition for for the Czechs. We'll see if that's going to be too much of a problem, especially as we move into the gold medal game. We have to have all, fi all, all lines firing at all cylinders. So we'll see if they can continue that success. Wouldn't be surprised to see the Czechs sort of just replace. It shouldn't be too much of a problem, I don't believe. But at the same time, you get, lose a guy like Ruda, could be a, a, a sort of a big loss for a team as well let's talk about the damn shootouts when we look at it Canada I hate them I don't think they should be especially in the playoffs a game like that should be decided by the two teams battling it out Canada had all the momentum in this game 
and just couldn't put the puck in the back of the net. And of course, they ran out of time. They took a bad too many men penalty. They sort of Switzerland in overtime. But that was the key to success for both teams was, you know, they just couldn't quite find it in the shootout. Switzerland won it in the shootout. They took what they needed to and they won that way. So for me, you know, it's just a tough, tough way to go out, especially in the playoffs where really you should just, you see the NHL, you know, they, they let the game play out in overtime. Sudden death overtime for the full 20, full 40, whatever it might be. That's how I believe it should be. But nonetheless, of course, can't get everything you wish for. And for Switzerland, of course, the damn shootout. They are very happy about that damn shootout. But with that being said, we'll move right along here to the playoff bracket. So remember, gold medal game May 26th will be between Switzerland and Czechs. Bronze medal between Canada and Sweden. So take a look at now at this upcoming schedule. So 9.20 a.m. Eastern Standard Time will be Canada and Sweden. And this is going to be a really good game, in my opinion. Look at it. The two teams that, in my opinion, were likely going to be in that gold medal you know, I'll be honest with you, I made the graphics for the live stream coming up last night, and the two teams that I was using was Canada and Sweden. So feel free to laugh at me in the comments. I did think the Czechs were, had a good shot against Sweden. In my opinion, that's who I had likely winning that one. But Canada, I did not think Switzerland was going to beat Canada. So, of course, feel free to laugh at me in the comments on that one. But look at it. I think Canada's favored slightly in this one. Sweden has looked really, really good in this tournament. It's just the last couple games, the way they've played against the Czechs, you know, the way they played against Finland. I just don't think that they've been on a, a good roll. They're sort of trending downwards for Canada. You know, they, they had a good second and third period trending up a little bit. So for me, I'm going to favor Canada slightly in the bronze medal. And then the gold medal, that 2.20 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, will be live for it. But... In my opinion, you look at it, I got to favor the home team check here. We've seen it time and time again with these checks. When they can get a little momentum, whether that be a big hit, whether that be a power play, whatever it might be, it's just really hard as the opposing team to come back from it. We'll see if Switzerland's up to the task. They've looked really good at times, but the problem with a team like Switzerland is that they use trap. When they use trap, it means there's a lot of offensive zone time if you're the team that's going to be coming in, which gets a crowd into games, and that's one of the biggest problems. And We don't really see it in the NHL as much, which is why it's so so effective in the international game. So we'll see sort of on home ice, you know, who is it going to be for the Czechs? If the Czechs can really sort of set momentum this game, is going to be a blowout. If Switzerland can find a way to sort of plug away, get a couple early ones, it's going to be an interesting game. I'm going to take the checks in this one. Uh, but with that, we'll, I'm going to invite you to join us for our live stream tomorrow. We'll have the full commentary as well as a live watch party. So be sure to tune in. The link can be found in the description below. But as well, be sure to sort of like, subscribe, all that so you never miss the upload. Make sure to hit the notification bell so you're notified when we go live. If you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. If you'd like to drop a like, if you'd like to subscribe, Tell all your friends and comment down below your thoughts on the, on the semifinal action of the World Hockey Championship. Until next time, see you.